Hi YouTube, we're back again for another week of SoCal Outdoors. I'm here with my buddy Dave and we're going over some ammo for new hunters that know, you know, they're out there looking for to get into hunting and go deer hunting, go pig hunting. But in California, we have that we have a lovely law that you have to use copper. So I have some uh, examples of copper, copper rounds and all copper. Uh, oh, oh yeah, all copper. It has to be 99% copper. But uh, there's some great bullets out there. Also, I have, a, I have kind of a trick for uh, sighting your gun, too. We'll talk about that at the end of this thing. But this is the calibers you can hunt with in California. 243, 3030, 35 Remington, 65 Creedmoor, 270, 30-06, 308, 7mm mag, and 300 wind mag. And then you can hunt with a 338, but that's a, lot of, that's a lot of gun for California. But that's the calibers that are legal in California. And what Dave and I stick with is we stick with the 30 calibers. That's what we like to, to big game hunt with in California. So in California, the lowest caliber you can go down to is a 243. 243 is the lowest. You got 243, 3030, you've got 270, you've got 308, 30 odd six, the Creedmoor, the 65 Creedmoor, you've got but also you've got the 300 Win Mag. I'm a huge promoter of 30 caliber. 30 caliber is an awesome bullet. It knocks game down. You know, you're shooting a 243, 3030. I mean, they're great rounds. They've killed, 3030's probably killed more deer than any um, caliber in America. But the bigger the bigger bullets, the 30 calibers, the, the 30 out six, the 308, the 300 wind mag, those have a little margin of error if you want to, want to put it to you that way. Buck fever is a huge thing for all of us. If you're into hunting, everyone gets it. Don't pretend you don't. If you're slightly off, you know, and you pull the trigger and it's a high shot and you're like, oh crap. You know, you spine a deer with a 30 odd six. He ain't, he ain't getting up. <laughs> He's just gonna lay there. You know, you hit a deer maybe lower with a 30 odd six or a 308 or a 300 way mag. You're talking the, the body shock is gonna knock him down and you'll be able to get another shot. A 243 is a super quick bullet. A Creedmoor is a super quick bullet. Sometimes those things go right through the, that game mail. That game mail doesn't even know if he got hit. And then all of a sudden he runs away. And you know, we're good hunters. You know, you have to go and do your, do your dual jills and go check for them and find the blood and stuff. The hole it leaves is way different than the hole it leaves with a 300 wind mag. <laughs> so in my opinion, I'm a 30 caliber guy. I've kind of talked Dave into being 30 caliber. Him and I are 30 out six guys. We hunt with a 30 out six. One of the reasons that most of my, my hunting crew and the guys I go hunt with, we hunt with a 30 out six, is because someone always forgets some ammo. Someone always forgets something. You know, oh, dude, I didn't grab my copper. I didn't, you know, this, this, whatever. So we can always just kind of, you know, hey, dude, use 10 of my rounds. So that's one of the reasons that I do it. I want to talk about a couple things about the calibers. In California, you have to have copper. It's 99% copper. Copper came out by Barnes, God, I want to say eight years ago, maybe I'm not sure, I know Dave will fix that in the bottom of the thing and he'll tell you when it came out. But they came out with uh, copper and copper was a hollow point bullet. In my opinion, you know, we're shooting and it would shoot high all the time. I'm like, gosh. So I go and go to the range, side it in, get out in the thing and I, you know, get a little wheelies going when you got a nice buck in front of you and I take a shot and I'm, I'm over it. I kind of was like, ugh, I, you know, I hate copper. They need to come out with some other. A lot of the uh, manufacturers start making better rounds, way better rounds. You can look right here. This is uh, Federal, 85 grains. You can see it's lead free. This is what the bullets look like now. This is just 243. I'll, I'll show all the bullets. But this is what I was talking about. If you can see that, that little hole in there, in my opinion, they're just not... I don't like them. I'll show you why. So that's the 243. And then you get into 30 out six. This is the this is the brand I use and, and Dave uses. Well, actually Dave uses Winchester. This is why I use Barnes. This is a phenomenal bullet. It's the TTSX. It's 150 grains. It's a phenomenal bullet. Let me give you the, the stuff on it real quick here. Out of the muzzle, it's 29, 2970 out the muzzle. It has 1.6 drop at 100 yards. That's if you sight in at 200 yards. If you sight in at 200 yards, it's dead zero at 200 yards. It's only got a seven inch drop 
at 300 yards. It's got a 20 inch drop at 400 yards. So it's a great, it's a great round. I got onto these probably the third year of, of the new copper laws. And this is what I use and it's pricey. It's 50 bucks all day. There's nothing you can do about it. It's anywhere from $43.99 to $51.99. Depends on where you can get it. I use this, like I said, it's the TTSX BT 150 grain. I shoot 150 grains in California with a 30-06, 308, 270. I shoot like a 140 or a 130. I gotta look at my box. You don't need a 200 grain bullet. We're not shooting, we're not shooting bucks that weigh you know, 300 pounds like in Wisconsin that have been eating corn all week. A nice buck in California on the hoof, maybe 150. They're mostly like 125, 120. You know, that's why I go with a 50, 150 grain and 30 caliber bullet. So many different brands out there. So this is Federal. This is the new Lever Evolution for my 3030. I have, I have several, I love hunting with that thing. But it's more for brush country, they call it a brush country gun. But it has this cool rubber tip because you know you load them in the side gate. 140 grains and it's got a, if you sight in at 200 yards, it's accurate. 300 yards, it's got a 12, and a, a 12 inch drop and 100 yards, it's, it's, it's up almost three inches. So for a 30-30, this is a great round. And like I said, you guys can hunt with anything. I hunt with a 30-06, 30-06 is the main thing. One of the reasons that I like to hunt with a 30-06 is because you can always find ammo. It's really hard when you go somewhere, hey, I'm shooting a Creedmoor or I'm shooting a, a 45-70 because I want to go go big and I go to a, you know the local gun store and oh dude, we don't have that. <laughs> you know, or they do have it, but they don't have the copper stuff that we need in California. So that's kind of one of the reasons. So I go with the Barnes. They make a GMX and Hornady for all the rounds. Anything, you know, I shoot my uh, Barnes, love them. Dave shoots the Deer Season Copper Impact and his is the same thing, 150 grains, same thing. It's got, it's 29, 29, 20 on the muzzle. Basically 50, minus 50 from the, the barns, but it's still a good right. And it, another thing too is it shoots good out of his gun. That's another thing too. When you buy a gun, doesn't matter what you buy, you go shoot some ammo, buy a box, go shoot it. If you don't like the way it shoots, go buy a different box. Go buy a different company, you know. I have a 300 Win Mag and this is the 300 Win Mag 165 gram trophy copper. So this is basically the trophy bonded bear club that they made into co copper. This is an excellent round. They put the they put the tip on it for me. Thank the Lord. But look at that thing. That thing is just vicious. This is a big bullet. This is a big gun. One of the things with this gun is you need to be comfortable shooting it. I'm a big guy. I don't have a problem shooting it. But it ain't a gun you just snap up and go shoot at something with. <laughs> because if you're not holding it right, you'll pay dearly for it. It's part of you. And that's why I like the 30 calibers because a lot of people don't get to shoot as much as that I do or Dave does. And they go to the range, so a couple a box of their gun, oh, I'm ready to go. Well, that's good. You can shoot paper <laughs> from a bench spot. I understand, dude. Hey, attack driving, yeah, at 100 yards or whatever. But you get on the field, man. It's different. It's hot. It's buggy. Deer runs straight up a hill. And you're, you're aiming like this, and you're looking at the scope, and you get the dumb, dumb wound when you pull the trigger you know, get scoped. So yeah, what I like to do is I go out and I put paper plates on targets at certain ranges, 50, 100, 125, 200, you know, 300. We do like a walkthrough and we take a shot. Now, with that being said, we don't do that with this. This is 50 bucks a box. So what I've been trying to tell, I'm giving you guys a little tip. These are 30-06 Winchester power points. They're 20, they used to be $20 at Walmart, now Walmart does. These are 150 grains. So what I do is I sight my gun in with these, get it where it's tack driving at the range. Then I grab a few bullets of these, put them in there, adjust it to fit these to make it right. Because if you use a box, just get your gun set, let's say. You put this in there, it should only take you a couple rounds, maybe four at the best, to get you where you need to be with this. So that way you're not spending $50 at the range, you're only spending 20 and you still have 15 rounds left to go hunting with. It's just a little trick for people that aren't rich, like you see these guys on the Outdoor Channel, they're just firing through rounds at 
because the company gives them bullets. We're not sponsored, so we got to do what we got to do. But that's a good, good thing and a good way to practice. You know, kneel sitch, shoot from angles that you know you're not good at. If you can go somewhere and do that, if not, and you're just trying to go out there and go hunting, make sure that you go to the range and sight your gun in and give that that animal the best chance of being harvested with no extra activities, if you will. <laughs> You know, put the deer down, one shot, one shot, one kill, get it down the ground. And, you know, you're going to, you know, as a new hunter, things are going to happen. It's happened to me. It's happened to Dave. You know, bad shot. You know, chase this thing down. I get it. It's, but, but the best thing you do for the animal is, is do your due diligence. Train, shoot, make sure you're ready to go. And I think it'll be great. But this is just what we, in my opinion, we use. But the best thing you do after you get all that done is buy good ammo. You know, you can reload and all that other stuff, and that's fine. That's fine if you're good at reloading, go ahead. But I buy factory ammo because I, I want all that, that factory, I want all that, you know, out of the equation. Like they say, arms makes a great bullet. That's what we have this week. This is strictly any, any of these rounds will take a, a bear, a mule deer, you know, pig. You know, maybe the bigger stuff can take down an elk. Heck, they shoot, used to shoot elk in the... In the early 1800s, in the 30-30, so you know you never know. 30 caliber is, in my opinion, the best round you can go with. So when you go look, go, go to the gun store. Hey, they got you know Savage. They got this. They got that. Savage, Remington, you know Tika, Browning. I mean, there's um, there's hundreds of guns out there. Just pick the one that's comfortable for you, and then pick the right ammo and go out and have a good time. I mean, it's it's a lot of fun once you get into it, and really if you Use your brain sometimes and save some money. <laughs> you can actually do some more shooting. So that was kind of a little trick I gave you guys on that one. I do that. A lot of people don't don't trust it. If you get your gun sighted in with 150 grains and then go in there and fine tune it to this with five rounds, it's the same thing. And you're not spending fifty dollars, you know, every time you go to the range. And you got to make sure your gun sighted. And this is tried and true every time. Every time you go to out in the woods, you got to make sure your gun sighted in. So. Make sure you get that thing signed in, ready to rock, and have a great hunting season. We'll see you next time.